everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, Three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to start. So let's take a look through our cosmonoculars and find out who our story is about today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> wow! Look at those colours. It's so beautiful. And those shapes. Oh, look, can you see it? It's getting clearer. Yes, it's a camel. It's Alan the camel. What's Alan doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing dog pose. This is very exciting. We're off to Egypt today to go and find Alan the camel. He's a tour guide and he knows all about ancient Egypt, the pharaohs and the tombs and the temples. We're going to be brave explorers today. So let's get going. Now, let's get our brain and our body in gear. We sit with our legs crossed, our hands on our knees, and we take a deep breath in through our nose. And a deep breath out of our nose as well. And again, big breath in. Big breath out. Mm. That's it, everyone. We're ready. And look, standing on the windowsill is a pelican who's going to take us to Egypt. Coming up to stand. The pelican is standing on one leg. Take your hand to the side and see if you can capture your foot. Try not to wobble. The pelican has a very long neck, very graceful, and a big bulbous beak. So let's puff out our cheeks. Very good, everyone. We hop onto the pelican, taking our feet down, folding forwards, taking our hands down, and the pelican's wings begin to swoop as we fly, headed towards Egypt. Wow, this is so exciting. And look, I think we can see Egypt in the distance. We're coming into land, everyone. Coming down onto your knees. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little landing ball. Ooh. Sitting up. Wow. We've landed in Cairo, which is the capital city of Egypt. It's very noisy and bustling with all these people about. And the sunshine is super duper hot. Now, in Egypt, they believe in the sun god Ra. So let's stand up and say hello to Ra. Standing up, reach up to the sun and say, hello, Ra. Yes, well done, everyone. Now, we'd better put some sun cream on, hadn't we? Yeah, blob, 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 blob. Rub it on your arms. And the other one, blob, 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 blob. Rub it on your legs. All the way down and all the way on the back as well and the sides and blob 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 rub it on your tummy yeah and blob 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 let's rub it on our face that's good very good everyone now we're protected from the sun but who's this coming towards us it's a little donkey he's very excited to see us he does a little donkey kick coming down to your knees take your hands down and lift your bottom to the sky step one leg in look between your hands and do a little hoppity hoppity hop and again hoppity hoppity hop yes a little donkey kick he explains that i'm here to take you to see Alan the camel. He's at the Crystal Temple and he's told me to bring you. Oh, thank you. You're to ride me a bit like a horse. Oh, OK, well, we can ride a horse, so we get on. Coming up onto one knee, take your hands up and above your head and off we go. The donkey rides us all the way past the pyramids. Coming down to two knees, take your hands in front of you, tuck your toes and lift your bottom to the sky, making yourself into 
a pyramid shape. Wow, the pyramids were where they buried their pharaohs, the kings. They're like great big tombstones or graves. And who's this trotting out from behind the pyramid? Coming down to your knees. It's Alan, the camel. Coming high onto your knees. Keep your toes tucked behind. Take your hands onto your hips and press your hips forward, rolling your shoulders back as you lift your chest up to the sky and blow a great big happy raspberry. <gasps> oh, thanks, Alan. We know he doesn't mean to be rude. We say shukran to the donkey, which means thank you in Egyptian. Sitting with our legs crossed, hands together. Shukran. Very good, everyone. Alan takes us to shelter in the shade of a sphinx. Lying on your bellies, everybody. Come high onto your elbows. Roll your shoulders back, making your neck super duper long like a sphinx. A sphinx has the body of a lion and the head of a lady. Alan has some bad news. He's just come from the Crystal Temple and something very precious has been taken. The Crystal Rose. Now, we all know that we shouldn't take things that don't belong to us, but this Christ Crystal Rose is very, very special. It belongs to the Sun Queen. And if she notices it's gone, her spirit will awake and she'll release a ferocious curse all over the land. We have to get it back before it's too late. Alan knows who we need to go and ask for help. He needs our help too. We need to go and find Widget the cat. Coming up onto all fours, Widget the cat is another tour guide and knows everyone and anyone who is in Egypt. She arches her back, looking into her belly button. And then she wiggle waggles her tail as she lifts her chest forward as she says, How do you do? I've been keeping an eye on the new snake charmer working outside the temple and I wonder whether he might have something to do with it. Have a look. We sit up and with our binoculars, our thumbs and fingers together, we look through and have a little peep at the snake charmer. <gasps> Oh, look, there he is, sat with his legs crossed. Sitting on your bottoms, cross your legs. He's playing his punji, or his snake charmer flute. Take your hands in front of you. He closes his eyes to concentrate more on his tune. In front of him is a basket coming to lie on your bellies. Take your feet towards your bottom and reach around to grab your ankles. Then you're going to breathe in as you lift yourself up, making yourself into a basket shape. This is where the cobra lives, the snake. And look, yes, we can see it now wiggling away. Stretch your legs long, hands underneath your shoulders and wiggle up like a snake. What's that? We can see it glinting on top of the cobra's head. It's the crystal rose. Tuck your toes, lift your bottoms to the sky, bend your knees and look forward between your hands. Then jump yourself, cross your legs and sit. The snake charmer opens his eyes. And he sees the snake showing the crystal rose on its head. Hands on your shoulders. The snake charmer stands up without touching his hands on the floor already. Whoop. He folds all the way forwards as he takes the lid, puts it on top of the basket. Then he lifts up the whole basket, pops it on his head and starts to run. <laughs> Quick! We've got to go after him. He's got the crystal rose. We have to take big steps to keep up with Alan, whose long legs cover a lot of ground. Coming to the side, big step. And another one, big step. And another one, big step. One more, everyone, big step. Oh, no, we've come to a river. And it's full of rather large, menacing-looking crocodiles. A crocodile-infested river. Lying on your side, everyone. 
Take your arms and legs long as they can go. Then open and close your crocodile jaw. Oh, snap, snap. Very good, everyone. And can you wiggle, waggle your crocodile tail? Yes, well done. Now we have to work out what we're going to do. We sit up and we cross our legs and we look all the way over one side. Mm -mm, no answers over there. And all the way over the other side. And we spot a rather wobbly looking rope bridge. Turning to the side, feet flat, knees bent, hands behind your bottom. Lift yourself up, making a bridge shape. Oh, it looks a bit scary trying to cross that, especially with all those crocodiles snapping away beneath us. But Alan has an idea. He will do one of his big, funny camel raspberry sounds to distract them. Coming all the way down, turn yourself round, tuck your toes, come up high onto your knees and take your hands behind your hips. Press your hips forward, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest to the sky. Big camel raspberry sound now, everyone. Ready? <sighs> Sure enough, it does the trick and all of the crocodiles are watching Alan as we stand up and very quietly ooh, balance, crossing one foot in front of the other on the very wobbly rope bridge. We're nearly there. Well done, everyone. Keep going. Oh. Luckily, we meet Alan on the other side of the bridge. He crosses the river further up where the crocodiles aren't haunting him. Now, look. We're standing, staring at a ginormous mountain, coming into mountain pose. Stabilise your feet and your arms, standing very still. Alan tells us that this mountain is called Viper Mountain. And there we can see the snake charmer running towards it. Ooh, we've got to get after him. But this time Alan has a better idea. He says we can get on his back, then we can cover the ground a bit faster. He lowers his big body down, coming down to your knees, everybody. Now take your hands all the way forwards. Keep walking them forwards and forwards and forwards until your chest reaches the ground. We sit up and we get on Alan the camel's back, wrapping one leg around his hump and then the other leg around his hump. We hold on very tightly as we start to trot across the desert towards Viper Mountain. We're catching up with the snake charmer and when we reach the foot of the mountain, we come to a stop. We stand up, jump our feet wide and put our hands above our head because we are face to face with a cave. Now, the cave is shut with a large stone door. Hmm, how are we going to get in there? <gasps> Look, someone's coming. It's the snake charmer. Quick, everyone, hide. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little ball behind the rocks. Shh. We wait here and we listen to see what the snake charmer will do. We hear him say some words. Open sesame. Then the rumbling sound of the doors opening. <gasps> Look! Oh, we can hear his footsteps. They're disappearing. The doors closing behind him. <gasps> yes, we sit up. That's the secret code to get into the cave. Come on, everyone, let's try it. We stand up in front of the cave door and we say... Open sesame! <gasps> Look, it's worked! The door starts to open, coming down to your knees. Take your leg to the side and your hand to the sky. <laughs> the door closes behind us. Take two knees together, your leg to the other side, your arm to the sky. <laughs> We're inside. We'd better tiptoe. Can you go high up on your tippy tip? Don't want anyone to notice we're in. Oh, well, be careful. Look, there's a scorpion scuttling around down there on the ground, coming down onto your bellies. Let's try a scorpion pose. We take our fingertips out wide, 
tenting our fingers and lifting our elbows. Then we lift up one of our legs and press it up to the sky. Using our other foot, we hoist it high and then we flick our tail over towards our head like a scorpion. Let's try the other side now. Lowering yourself down, lift the other leg, press it to the sky and hoist it up, kicking it up and over towards your head, making a scorpion pose. Well done, everyone. Lowering all the way back down, we come up to sit again as we get to the back of the cave and notice that it's full of candles. Lying on your back, take your arms out wide and lift your legs up, coming into your candle pose. Oh, the candles are flickering. It looks very pretty in here. And they're surrounding a large stone table. Bend your knees, come up to sit, feet flat, hands behind you. Lift your bottom up, making yourself into a table. On the table, glistening and gleaming, is the crystal rose. <gasps> wow. The snake charmer comes into the room. <gasps> oh, I, I didn't take it. I just thought I would, um, I would give it a clean and then I would return it. <gasps> we know he's not telling the truth, is he? It never pays to lie. <gasps> All of a sudden, the snake charmer jumps out of his skin like a monkey coming up onto your feet, on your tippy toes. And after three, let's jump like a monkey. Ready? One, two, three. Whee! He's just been bitten by the scorpion. See, it doesn't pay to lie. Something bad will always happen. We come up onto our knees as we explain. He really shouldn't have taken the crystal rose. It doesn't belong to you. And now that the Sun Queen, she'll notice that it's gone and she'll release a ferocious, awful curse on the whole of the land. Oh, the snake charmer is very sorry, and he says he will do whatever he can to help us return it. He won't steal or lie ever again. We put the crystal rose carefully into our backpacks, turning around so you can see. Let's put one hand in and our other hand up and see if we can find our fingers. And the other way, our other hand in and our other hand up and see if we can find our fingers. Well done. We've put the crystal rose into our backpack and then we spy an old mine train. What a great way to get back to the crystal temple. We stand up and jump on board. Pull the horn. Woo, woo. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go until we're going very slow. Pull the horn. Ooh, ooh. We hit the fresh air and we notice there's a whirl of sand kicking up from the desert. Jump your feet wide, arms wide, starting to spin. Oh no, it looks like a desert storm. In the sky, there is a clap of thunder. Take your arms wide and clap. And another clap. And one more clap. The Sun Queen must have released this ferocious storm. We have to get the crystal rose back. We jump our feet together as we come to the mouth of the crystal temple door. There are lots of very tall statues, stone statues standing in a line. They have big, wide eyes. Oh, it's a bit scary, but we tiptoe very quietly down the corridor so as not to disturb those statues. At the end of the corridor, we find Widget, the cat, coming onto all fours, arching your back up, looking into your belly button, and then dipping your belly down to wiggle waggle your tail. Quickly, Cosmic Kids, come this way. We have to return that crystal rose to the statue of the Sun Queen. We head into the main room of the Crystal Temple, where we see a beautiful statue. Take your bottom to the side and your legs to the side, taking one leg further behind the other so your foot is touching your thigh. The beautiful Sun Queen is stretched up with her hands in the shape like she should be holding a crystal rose. We need to put the crystal rose back soon, now. We stand up and we fold forwards, putting the crystal rose very gently back into the Sun Queen's hands. 
Then we bow our heads as we walk backwards, leaving the Sun Queen and crossing our fingers that that's done it. On our way out, we see a little scarab beetle who's on his back with his legs in the air. Lying on your back, take your legs up and hold on to your feet. Help! In Egypt, the scarab beetle is thought to be good luck. We flip him over. Whoop! And once he's the right way up, he says, thanks. And off he goes. Maybe this will be the luck that we need. We head outside of the Crystal Temple where the storm has mysteriously settled. But we know why. Together with Alan the camel coming down to your knees, hands on your hips, press your bottom forward and let's have a nice big juicy raspberry. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alan. And Widget the cat coming onto all fours, arching your back up and then dipping it down, wiggle waggling your tail. Meow. And us, the Cosmic Kids, we are all heroes today. Let's take hero pose. Take your hands down, take your feet a little bit wider and untuck your toes and come down to sit in between your ankles, shuffling your feet in a little bit so your toes point all the way back. We crisscross our fingers in front of us, turn them inside out and lift them above our head and we have a little cheer. Yay! We did it. And the snake charmer has promised never to steal or lie again. It's time for us to go home. And look, what's landing in front of us is a magic carpet. Take one leg to the side and your other leg to the side. Arms wide, we give Alan a big hug goodbye. And off we go. Ooh. Ooh heading out into the starry night sky. Wow! What a night! What a day! What an adventure! We lie all the way back on our magic carpet, enjoying some time just to rest and think about how adventurous and brave we've been. We've been real heroes today. We managed to save the Crystal Rose and teach the Snake Charmer something very important that lying is never a good idea, that we must always try and tell the truth, and that stealing something, taking something that doesn't belong to us isn't right. And if we do something wrong, like stealing or lying, lying the best thing is for us to own up to it. And that way we can make things better again. So as we lie here and we think about our adventure, and we're very proud of ourselves for being so brave. We breathe slowly before we slowly wiggle our toes and our fingers. We hug our knees into our chest and roll onto our sides, coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to Egypt with me and for meeting Alan the camel. He was great, and so were you. Well done. I hope to see you soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.